fellas 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 what is going on today fellas so today's video i wanted to talk about the best emerald rewards for you guys to pick up from the token market now i know a lot of you guys watching this video right now you might say i already got past the emerald rewards what's the point um the reason i'm making this video is because i know there's gonna be a lot of newcomers to the game and maybe some people are just getting the game because a lot of people still don't have this this game yet so i just want to put this video out there right now in order to uh really just get it out there for then for when the people do come into the game the new people the newcomers around christmas black friday whatever it may be they know exactly what they should be looking for okay so this is what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about some of the best uh emeralds for you to pick up and the 10 that you should be aiming to pick up really to advance to the next one and we're going to do versions of the sapphire the ruby and uh obviously the amethyst and then once i finish off the diamond i'll do that too and then obviously the pink diamond and all that stuff so yeah let's just get into this video man i'm gonna tell you the, the best guys for you to pick up so as you can see i did pick up 10 guys here already not really sure if all of the guys that i happen to pick up are the best but i know some of them are pretty good at least for starters so so the first one and this is not going to be in any particular order but my first pickup ever was clay thompson and this right here everyone should pick him up the reason i say that is because he um he's he's gonna do the important things that you need him to do so he's got the 85 three ball so he can definitely shoot and then he's got the 82 perimeter defense that's really all you're getting out of clay thompson is a three and d type player and then as you can see he's got silver range extender he has bronze clamps he has uh some of these bronze shooting badges he's not amazing i mean none of these emerald cards are amazing he does have gold catch and shoot as well none of these emerald cards are amazing guys they're just good for the start right these these are the best cards that you're going to get for the start of the game okay next up i would say bobby jackson bobby jackson is going to help you out a ton there's one reason and one reason only for you to get bobby jackson and it's because he has 90 speed with ball and if you're trying to complete domination or any mode really and you're trying to compete that 90 speed with ball is going to help you out a lot especially early game Eventually, cards are going to come out there a lot faster than him. But for the time being, he is a pretty good card. He has an 83 ball too, which isn't bad. You can green with the 83 ball if you know what you're doing. Let me see what badges he's looking at, man. He's got some gold finishing badges here. He's got silver quick first step. Quick first step is a great badge. Yeah, so definitely Bobby Jackson is another one that you guys should be looking to pick up, okay? Another one I would say is Avery Bradley. He's 6'3". He can play but you can play the shooting guard only he's kind of small for the shooting guard but don't even worry about that early game he has a 79 three ball which obviously isn't amazing but if you know how to shoot you can green with a 79 three ball you're not you may not green every shot but you can green and then really you're just picking up for the perimeter defense which is 84 and then he does have the bronze clamps he has silver dimer as well he has silver catch and shoot he has silver quick first step but then that bronze clamps that's that's what you want that's what you want him for you want him for defense and he can shoot a little bit too so he's almost like clay i would say I, I would rather have clay over avery bradley though because he is taller he is a better shooter and he is uh, uh he's probably a little bit worse of a defender but he is he has like longer arms so another one myers leonard now myers leonard i've actually went up against this card in um triple threat online bro and this was very annoying to go up against because he can stretch the floor so he, he has an 83 three ball so the the thing about this card is that he can help you beat those paint sitters. There's a lot of people in this game on Triple Threat Online. They love to just paint sit with their center and just have their hands up and don't even jump. It, it, it's the worst tactic, like the most pathetic way to play the game. And that's what everyone does this year. So you need some, you need a big man if you're playing Triple Threat. You need a big man who can shoot threes and mid-ranges. He, he could particularly shoot threes. The mid-ranges is not so much, but the threes, that's really all that matters here. And let's take a look at his badges. He's got catch and shoot silver, green machine silver, hot zone hunter silver, corner specialist. He does have steady shooter, which sucks, but all these cards do. He does have flexible release on bronze too. So yeah, you can afford to like give up a little bit on the release. You know, if you don't happen to get it perfectly, that flexible release will help you out there a little bit. Now looking at a big man, I would say Etan Thomas. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but he's a center, 6'11". Really, the only reason that you'd be looking up to pick this guy is because he has an 87 block he has 86 and 83 rebounding which isn't bad when you're first first starting off and you need to go up against it and you're going up against like bronzes and not maybe not bronze but like gold players and stuff like that on domination he's gonna help you out there 
So pick up Etan Thomas, man. I don't think he's that, I mean, I haven't picked him up personally because once I got, like when I was picking up these Emeralds, I had a, I had a decent enough team where these guys weren't gonna make my squad any better. So I kind of just picked up anybody, whoever was first here in the order, right? So it just saved myself some time. I didn't really, really look at them. So it's like, I didn't really care, but if you guys who wanna build, you know, the best team and you wanna get the best Emeralds, I would get that E10 Thomas guy. Another one is uh, Adano Foil. He's seven feet and he's kind of the same reason. He has a 90 block, he has 87 interior defense, and then he has an 88 offensive rebound and an 83 defensive rebound. So he's, uh, he's good for that. He's good for, you know, playing defense and getting boards. That's gonna help you out a lot when you're playing domination or whatever game mode you need a lot of fast breaks. So definitely I would pick up a Donald Foil. Also guys, I did want to talk about the challenges here because there are some challenges for the Emerald players. And if you just take a look at the challenges here is the reason why you actually should um, go after uh, um, some specific people. So let's take a look at them. For example, um, using Emerald Power or Emerald Reward Market Myers Leonard make 35 three pointers during the One Arise season. So you have to get these done within the next 19 days. But uh, as you can see, we got Stacy Augman, Bobby Jackson, we got Isaac Austin, and then also Eton Thomas. So those are the guys you're going to need to complete these challenges. And they actually give a good amount of XP, so it very much is worth it to actually go and scoop these guys. So that's why I tell you, uh, just not only looking at the guys who are going to be the best cards, but actually look at, the, come here and look at the players they're going to need and just do that and pick up those guys so you can complete these challenges, okay? Now for the rest of the 10, you guys can just pick up whoever you want, really. I don't think any of these guys are particularly amazing that you have to pick them up ASAP. I mean, none of these guys excel at anything crazy. Really, your main focus when you're picking up emerald players in the beginning of the game is to get somebody who specializes in one area and none of the other guys specialize in one area like antonio doyles or antonio daniels no james posey he doesn't really specialize in anything he has an 81 three ball but that's like his best feat he doesn't really have anything else so i mean maybe if you want to pick him up you can pick him up carl landry's nothing special he doesn't do anything like really great as you can see right here so it's like these none of these other guys are anything crazy you can pick up whoever you want after that point just look to see who you have on your team see who's going to fit best into the kind of team that you have and then i would go based upon that right i mean last year we got stacy augman isaac austin greg anthony i already spoke about etan thomas and eduardo najera i don't know how to say his name but yeah none of these guys are anything crazy guys so just pick up whoever you want really whoever's going to fit like your play style and anything like that go ahead and pick up whoever really because like i said none of these guys specialize in anything crazy so there's no point in you trying to find the best ones like none of them are particularly fast i mean greg anthony has an 82 three ball that's okay he's pretty good at passing i would say but that's about it man so yeah that's the uh the best emerald i would say for you guys to pick up if you guys enjoyed the video if it was helpful make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe we're gonna roll to 40k i'm dropping more tips videos more entertaining videos, all kinds of stuff for you guys throughout the year. So if you want to see more of that, make sure to hit that sub with notifications. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.